Why, hello there. It is I, AG Techno 101, with a video on a very cool topic. Video games. No, no. I know what you're thinking. I'm not gonna play video games like everyone else. I'm gonna make one. So, yeah. Um... So, uh, what am I gonna call this game? That's an easy question, because I've already decided. It's called Blue Man Running. Why? No idea. I'm also gonna make this game in a little software I like to call Unity. It's pretty powerful, so that's why I'm gonna use it. Now, it's time to open up Unity. I totally know what everything does here. No. Let's see, this this button does something. Yeah, this, this button also does something. Okay, maybe I have no idea what I'm doing. Unity also uses a coding language called C Sharp, and I've actually used it before, but I forgot how to. <sighs> so, after a few hours of watching random YouTube videos and 20 minutes of watching tutorials, you could call me a Unity professional. So, I opened up the editor and started working. After a few days, I came up with a pretty cool prototype. So, you have a blue cube, and you run around the level and dodge obstacles. That's nice. I did this by following a few tutorials on YouTube. Also, I streamed some of my game dev on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash techno 101 So, now I'm pretty happy with myself. But, there's one thing missing. You see this? What is this cube? Have you met anyone who likes cubes? I like cubes. Shut up, Johnny. My name's not Johnny. So, I think we should add a character model to this cube. Bruh. And what software am I going to use, you ask? Well, I'm going to use Blender. For those of you who don't know what Blender is, it's not that. But I really could use a smoothie right now. For a poor man like me, who has a total net worth of, um, let's see, nothing. Blender is perfect, because it's free. Wow. That's great. Now, it's time to open up Blender. And do I have any idea what I'm looking at? The answer is no. Google help me, I'm dying. Now, while following a YouTube video, I handcrafted a human. A low poly one, of course, but of course with the new software comes many difficulties, like having his back look like the inside of an empty lunchbox, and legs that were extended a little longer than normal, but I slowly embraced this and made it even longer, but like every human being it had its parts. But let's keep it PG, don't want my mom getting mad. Now as I finished up this beautiful character model. It was time to export it into Unity. Now, I was having a little bit of trouble with this, because you got those weird file formats, and I finally decided to just move all the logic in the cube into this character model. Now, after all that stuff, I could play the prototype with the character model, and as a beginner game dev person, I felt this was pretty good. And Johnny, my cameraman, would agree, right Johnny? Now, I would agree my character model here is lacking something. Can you guess it? Animations. Now, like everything else in this video, I don't know how to animate. So, I did some research and apparently you need something called a rig. I was too lazy to make one myself, so I just used the one provided with Blender. Now, I can animate my cool character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah boy. So I used these things called keyframes and made a simple run animation. It was a little choppy, but I didn't really care. And after some more tutorials and messing around with some stuff in Unity, I got a little animation going. 
Now, this is where everything went south. First of all, I tried to make a jump mechanic, and this was the product. I decided to scrap the jump mechanic and work on the player death. I decided to make the player a ragdoll whenever he hit something or fell off the world. Now, if you were wondering what a ragdoll is, it's basically you without a brain and no control over your bones. As much as I wanted this feature in the game, a terrifying thing happened to it. Um, I lost the footage and the ragdoll didn't work because it supposedly went 8,000 miles per hour. But, I did actually test the ragdolls without the model going 8,000 kilometers an hour, and it worked out fine. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, you And it was pretty cool. But, the prototype I was working on was now not functioning as intended. And I decided to start over. Remaking the entire thing again is great, because you can make it better, by not making the foolish mistakes you made the first time. So, I did this. I imported my very realistic blue man, coded him some sweet movement, and made him go 80 kilometers an hour versus the 8,000 kilometers an hour he went in the prototype. Now that everything was going smooth as a chair, what, chair, who, who wrote the script? Oh wait, it was me. It was time to add more animations. And when I mean more, I only mean one more. That was a falling animation. I found a tutorial on how to make multiple animations for your character, and in no time my character was falling to his death. Yeah. But the character doesn't really die, he just falls, and that's kinda weird. So, we need to make him explode. We will do this by using Unity's particle system. You can make these cool effects with hundreds of little particles floating around. And this is how I'm going to make the character explode. I came up with a pretty cool blue explosion effect, so I tried implementing this effect whenever the character died. But I ran into a problem. The particles would spawn in a random place instead of at the character. I banged my head against a wall for three days straight, until I found a solution. All I had to do was make the particles spawn at the character's mesh and have a slight offset so that it explodes right where the character is. Then I made the player disappear. Boom, the character explodes whenever you fall off the edge. After that, I added a quick game over screen and some code that restarts the level once you died. Now, it was time to actually make the level. I just made a quick obstacle in Blender and I just randomly placed them, and the level turned out pretty good. Also, I made it so you do the explosion thing when you hit an obstacle. There was a slight problem with the collision, where you wouldn't even hit the obstacle, but you still die. I also added some slight post-processing effects, which was just a ton of motion blur. Now, there's no way you can win any levels, but I mean, there is only one level. Whatever. I still put this in the game because I will be making more levels, but just not in this video. So the game was basically done. So I uploaded it on itch.io, but then I realized something. There was no sound. And no sound sounds kind of bad. So I made a footstep sound by banging my hands on my table. Then I made a falling sound for when you fall off the edge, and it's just me making noises with my mouth. Then I tried to make an explosion sound with my mouth, but that didn't work out. So I just downloaded a retro explosion sound off of the Unity Asset Store. I implemented all of these sounds using code, and it got pretty messy, but I was too lazy to optimize the code. So, I made a few updates to the itch.io page, and the demo was pretty much done. You can play the game with the link provided in the description. You don't have to download anything, you can just play it in your browser. Also, it doesn't support smartphones and stuff. Now, I'm very surprised that you made it through the video. According to my YouTube analytics, it says that most of my viewers click off after about a minute. So, uh, yeah. But thanks for watching. If you want to see more of these devlog videos, be sure to subscribe. Unlike the subscription on everything else, this one is free. Okay, um, I should probably end this video.
Goodbye.